And we're now with NGIT men's basketball assistant coach Kim Waiters. And Kim, thanks for stopping by. Thank you so much for having me. All right, Kim, well, getting right to it, I know for you uh, and, and for the boys right now, it uh, hasn't been the beginning that you would have hoped for here in A-Sun play, but after what was a monumental non-conference uh, slate that you guys got a chance to go through winning as many games as you did. Yeah. Do you still feel like you guys are prepared to get at it here in A-Sun Conference play? Absolutely. You know, it hasn't been the start, like you mentioned, it hasn't been the start that we've wanted, uh, but it's just a little bit of adversity in the middle of our season. Uh, every team faces adversity. It's just an opportunity for us to rise to it. Um, you know, getting everybody back on the same page and doing the things that we do well, you know what I mean? And playing our brand of basketball in a win or a loss, just playing the game the right way. Now, and for you as well, too, obviously, you know, with you being an assistant coach, you have to scout. You know, um, you being a little younger can relate to the players in a sense of getting a chance to motivate and making sure, you know, those guys, you know, the guys are having the intensity level out there on Absolutely. the court. Do you feel like a lot of that was stemmed from your time as an undergrad at Robert Morris? 100 percent. You know, I learned the ways of winning and how difficult it is it truly is to win a Division One game uh, at home or on the road. And just try to instill that in guys every single day. You have to leave everything on the floor every time you're out there. Uh, every time you go out there, play like it's your last. You know what I mean? You never know what's going to be your last possession on the floor. Uh, so just exhausting yourself on both ends of the floor and being at Robert Morris and learning the ways of winning championships there uh, really, really taught me what it takes and how difficult it is to truly win a Division One game and then to further on uh, in the postseason and winning postseason and championships. No, absolutely, and you know, in your affiliation, it's funny because um, when you were with, got hired by NJT, obviously, you know, your relationship with Coach Angles, but now working with uh, Brian Kennedy yes. and, of course, with the Hoop Groups, his brother Rob, who runs it. So staying within the Kennedy family and yeah. staying, obviously, the Hoop Groups, you know, how much have you enjoyed and had enjoyed your time uh, with the Hoop Group? It, it, it was an awesome experience, man. You learn how to work, and that's the biggest thing. You know, you learn how to work every single day. Go in there, put your head down, and get your jobs done. You know what I mean? Get your to-do list get your highlighters out, get your stuff done, and move on to the next task, you know what I mean? And that's in life and in basketball, man. You check off one thing and there's always something left to do. Uh, leave no stone unturned. And the Hoop Group just teaches you how to work, teaches you how to relate to people, and it just broadens your network, man, and your connections and the people that you meet, uh, man, are, are close, close friends to this day. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for stopping by. Good talking with you, and hey, keep the wins coming. Thank you so much. All right, that's Assistant Coach Kim Waiters.